Okay, um, sometimes we want to um, work with complex numbers, and your calculator actually has a real number uh, mode. It also has a complex mode, and then you can also have a complex imaginary polar mode. I'm only going to focus on the real and complex. Um, very rarely in high school do we get into the uh, polar complex number mode. It's the way you graph it and stuff. But if you go to complex mode, uh, remember that the square root of negative 1 is i. And so what this allows us to do is I could take two complex numbers, which has a real part. So let me give you an example. Uh, this is a complex number, believe it or not. If I say 3 plus i... Um, which is second period, right? And then I add it to 4 minus 2i. Your calculator recognizes, whoops, I forgot to put, I'm going to have to insert second insert parentheses. All right, cool. Your calculator recognizes this as a complex number. In other words, 3 plus i is actually 3 plus the imaginary number i, or the square root of negative 1, plus a second complex number, which is 4, the real component, minus 2i, which is the imaginary component. So when I add this up, I should get 7 minus i. Yep.